All right, guys, this is the fifth hired request of 2016. It's another John Lennon uh, piano tape recording called uh, Friend of Dorothy. And let me get over here and I'll play some of it for you. The intro. So forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons I've done over the past nine years are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on all mobile devices. Use Google Chrome or Firefox for best results. Have something on there for everyone, whether you're a complete beginner. And if you are a complete beginner, I recommend my 50 uh, piano lessons on there just to get you started reading chords, understanding how to read my method and get your hands playing together. Uh, that'll get you started. Also, I have very advanced lessons on there. Whatever types of music you're into, I have it. Um, check me out on Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. <clears throat> and you can like the page and then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video to the site or make an update of what's coming up for the site. So let's get started with this free part one here. I'm going to do two measures for you. We are in the key of C, and I give you all the little nuances and details uh, when John plays this on the tape recording. It's just very cool to play something like this. You know, not a, it's not a kind of a mainstream big Beatle hit. It's just a, one of those uh, rare finds uh, that you can play. Very satisfying. But we have <clears throat> C, G on the left hand. And we're going to do quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. Okay? And use very little, if any, pedal in this at all. You don't really need it. Um, you'll cover up what's going on with the rhythm if you do that. So very little pedal, probably none at all. Uh, C and F here on this measure. Okay? So we go to a C chord here, we change to an F chord, but normally we'd go down and play an F on the bottom, but he just stays right here and puts an F here. So that makes it easier to play, actually. One, two, three, four, one, two. So the left hand is your conductor, it's your metronome, keeps you in time and tempo. Then the right hand on the top. Okay, so we have C, E, G chord here. We don't play here, but we play one, two, three times. Now change the bottom note to a B. You can just slide your thumb down to get that B. Some of you might, might want to play two, three, five, and then play the B with your thumb. It's just personal taste. But then you go back to C and you hold that, and then you play C, F, A in anticipation of the next chord, an F chord in the next measure. Okay, and you can kind of hear a melody on the bottom. That's what you're hearing is a melody right in the middle. Mostly on the thumb, sometimes on your second finger. Okay, so really slowly. measure you continue with that CFA two times now change your thumb to D and you have DFA two times now right here we just go to two notes E and A three times and then back down to D for D and A there so only two notes at the end there okay on those one two three you just line it up one two ratio is two to one. We have quarter notes on the left, eighth notes on the right, so you have two to one. One, two, one, two, one, two. Where it can get a little confusing is where the right hand holds a note or doesn't play on count one, but there's always that eight eighth notes or four quarter notes per measure. Here we go. From the beginning, slowly both measures. Now, sometimes you can give a little a chord a little bit of extra accent and then back off, and that's what gives it its style. Don't sound like a robot. But, right, so 
change it up a little bit on how loud you play some of the notes in the right hand. Alright, so there's your free part one. Hope you guys enjoy that. I'll see you on my website, webpianoteacher.com, and I'll talk to you later.